my very favourite dishes to cook is a very simple dish. It's braised short ribs in that old-fashioned way where you braise them slowly, brown them first in the oven with onions, a bit of garlic, and then the secret ingredient is Nor Homestyle Stock beef flavour. Without it, the dish is not the same. So the first thing we do, a little olive oil in the pan, and then we take our short ribs. The secret is, short ribs on the bone. You get less shrinkage and more flavour. And what we want to do is put some real colour in to give them that nice roasted flavour. In my opinion, short ribs are without doubt one of the very best things to braise. So while the short ribs are caramelising slowly, let's cook our onions and our garlic. A little olive oil, one finely chopped onion, two cloves of garlic crushed or sliced, your choice. Cook your onions very slowly. You've got plenty of time because this is going to take a few minutes. And just cook it very slowly to remove the water, to remove that acidity from within it and bring out that natural flavour of the onion. We now take six cups of water and now we add two Nor Home Style Stock beef flavoured into our water with the onions. So again, when we cook our short ribs, we're browning them. But what we're also doing is extracting the fat. Once we've extracted the fat, it allows us to caramelise them. We put our short ribs in. As you can see, they're not quite submerged. What's going to happen is they're going to shrink down. The only two things I'm going to add, which are optional, is a little bit of fresh thyme and a couple of bay leaves. As I say, that's not part of the recipe. It's just a little bit of something I've done for many years. And now what I'm going to do is I take my tin foil, then my lid on top. So now it's time to pop it in the oven, 320 for approx two hours. Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. The reason why short ribs are fantastic for braising is because of the fat content. As you can see, we've braised it for about two, two hours, 15, but can you see the fat on top? That's what was inside the meat, and that's why it's fantastic when it comes to braising. But what we have to do is take some of it off. You just tilt your pan, just run your ladle, just skim the fat off without removing the braising juices. I like to braise with the bone on, but I like to serve without the bone. As you can see, the bone's just dropping off. But the bone's done its job. It's added flavour, it's retained moisture. And I think what's really important is when you cook, and you're cooking for your family or you're having a dinner party, I think it's really important to give food that sense of occasion. We're going to garnish the braised short ribs with carrots and onions, which is just very old fashioned, it's very traditional. I mean, some people throw them all in, but I prefer to put it on at the end. This is just a very traditional, old-fashioned stew. It's not trying to be anything apart from what it is. And then we just take a little cornstarch. When I say a little, a little. But again, it's your choice how thick you'd like it. We add our sauce. Just braise short ribs with onions and carrots. 